air clarity, the type of cover, and the depth of water. And then obviously, you know, the, the spring, fall season. Um, but my approach is simple. Early in the year, uh, you know, when the fish are in the pre-spawn phase, um, you know, the water temperatures are cold, two of my favorite choices are a jerk bait and a lipless crankbait. Those are some of the best uh, baits for covering flats and, and, and generating strikes. The jerk bait, the pointers series early in the spring when the water's cold. Uh, and the LV, the LVR is great when you're fishing grass flats. It's a great bait for covering a lot of water. And then once it gets, you know, a little bit later in the year and the fish get on, you know, if you're fishing uh, flat with stumps on it, crankbaits are a good choice. Anytime you can crank the edges of a flat, crank stumps or whatever, crankbaits are a good selection. And then in the summertime, an obvious choice would be top water. Uh, you know, those are the biggest things. Let the type of cover, the depth, and the season dictate how you're going to fish your fish your flats and your bait selection. You know, when you talk about fishing points, the thing you got to understand is what makes them so good. You know, a lot of guys will say, "Hey, why do you, got, do you watch TV? All the professionals are always fishing points." You know, 90% of the time, it's the perfect transition place for bass. They hold on points going into spawn. They hold on points coming out to spawn, out of the spawn. You know, if they're coming back out to the main lake for the summer pattern, they stop and hold on points. It's a great ambush place. The, the bait fish are bad about being in these areas, so, I mean, when you start bass fishing, one of the first things you got to learn to fish is a point. Now, points, as with any kind of structure, there's always something a little bit different that you can look for that can really enhance your catch. Uh, anytime you catch a fish on a point, you want to really make a mental note of right where you caught that fish, and maybe after you complete fishing there, go over and look at where you caught him with your, with your electronics. Uh, the other way you can kind of probe the bottom and find out what's in there is with your crankbait that's hitting the bottom or with a Carolina rig in a, in a heavy weight dragging on the bottom. Maybe you'll determine that the bottom changes hardness there or maybe there's some rocks in a certain area there or maybe you can feel a stump in one little side of it. And what that can also mean, and you can do this with careful map study and careful electronic study, is fine maybe where the end of the point maybe makes a little curve out or makes a little nut off the side or makes one little bitty change or maybe there's a little bulb on the side of it or maybe there's a flat spot where you know the points continue to get deeper and it makes one little area where it's the same depth of a while and then drops off at the end. There's so many different subtle things that you really can look for and it really helps to really investigate what you're fishing and know what's down there. If I had to draw the ideal point that I would like to fish all the time it would probably come out in a slow taper with some nice, good, clean, shallow water up, maybe a mixture of stumps. Get right out to the end and break off kind of vertical, something different. So what I've got is I've got two or three different types of structure and targets on the same point. Very hard to find, but if you can find them, they're productive. Stumps up shallow, got a nice cover for when they're spawning. Out deep where you get a good vertical drop off, that's what could be a great winter pattern. So that would be the ideal perfect point. And if you find one, call me. Let me know. My number's in the book because I'd like to come fish it with you.